It's the lippy you need when you're spilling the tea. What's up everybody? And in today's video, you won't believe the drama. Good evening, I'm CJ and this is me, After Dark. Welcome back to my channel, thanks so much for watching. And today I'm very excited, we are having a full glam day and enjoying these Eyelure lashes. And while I was at it, I thought I would try out some new lippies with you. So we have got Hank and Henry, yay! We've got the collab with Rich Lux, as well as the Lip Luster Gloss Formula here to try. And we have also got a full stack here of Jeffree Star the Gloss in five different colors. So stick around. First up is Rich Lux X Hank and Henry. Uh, it's a matte liquid lipstick in, I hope, the perfect nude pink shade. Nude pink to house. Let's give her a try. And here's the classic Hank and Henry applicator. It's kind of a teardrop shape. I do like this color. It is a pretty universal nude pink. Gives a look of innocence and uh, still brings a little bit of blush of color as well. Uh, so I am digging this color. I don't know if it goes with this eye look 100%, but <laughs> I think it kind of goes with everything. Yeah. Kind of says springtime. <laughs> All right. So Rich Lux, great work. I love it. Next, we're gonna try the Hank and Henry Lip Luster Gloss. And this is in the color Orale, which was sold out for a while. And so I am very glad they restocked it so I could get a hold of it because it is this lovely, sparkling, uh, sort of silvery pink uh, with a green reflect. And I love, absolutely love iridescent gloss. So I'm excited for this. I know I'm trying two different types of gloss in this video. Let's see how this one goes. Mmm, there's a lovely mint scent to this. It smells so clean. Definitely not a one swipe applicator. These applicators don't pick up a lot of product. You kind of have to swirl it around. It feels very much like a traditional lip gloss, really. It's a bit sticky. The color's really pretty. Um, but it does seem like the trend is moving away from stickier glosses, right? It does bring a nice shine and make my lips look bigger. And I do love the color, but it's pretty sticky. All right. Also, even though the two products are made by the same company and should be compatible formula-wise, it does seem like this lifted up a little bit of the color from my matte liquid lipstick. I don't know if other gloss formulas would do that over this lippy. I haven't 
tried it with other glosses, so we can try it with the Jeffree Star formula and see how that goes. Um, but I would like to think that when I add a gloss to a matte formula, that the matte formula is mostly going to stay laying down if they're from the same company and were theoretically formulated to be used together. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited to finally try out all of these lippy. So this is my first impressions of Jeffree Star the gloss. I'm so excited. And we are going to start off with the color Candy Drip, which is probably the closest to the one from Hank and Henry. Uh, this is, uh, look at that cool finial. Um, this is a soft pink with glitter in it. And the glitter has sort of pink and blue reflex. Let's give it a try. And this is over the Rich Lux Lippy. The doe foot is pretty huge and it picks up a lot of product. So you don't need to dip in there a hundred times. This gloss is not sticky even a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, Hank and Henry. Um, but I just really love that. Um, I've always been a huge fan of lip gloss. I like to have my lips feel moisturized and slick and shiny and beautiful, but not sticky, not tacky. Um, and so I absolutely love the feeling of moisturization that this brings. Um, and yet it's not giving me any tacky feeling at all. Uh, it's a nice shine. Like I said, pretty similar in many ways to the Hank and Henry color of pink. And so I will probably be reaching for this one quite a lot. I think it goes over a lot of soft colored, pale colored lipsticks. Um, and it looks really sweet and fresh and uh, playful. And it gives me just the right amount of shine and moisture. The next color is called Ice Cold. As you can see, it's a sparkling white. And this one also has blue and pink sparkles, similar to uh, the previous color. Smells good. It smells like candy. This one is very similar, but just gives a little bit of a cooler, frostier appearance. You can also wear this one over light pink lippies. We see the remnants of the Rich Lux color on underneath. Um, I also think you could wear this alone for sort of a no makeup lip gloss day um, and still get a really blinding shine effect, <laughs> to use Jeffrey's favorite word. I feel like Ice Cold would go really well with the eyeshadows in the Blue Blood palette um, and some of the highlighters that Jeffrey has come out with with ice themed names this seems to be something that he's really into I like winter too I can dig it I just tissued some of the gloss off and it leaves behind a lot of glitter too so just know that even when the gloss itself has faded away you're gonna have some remnants of glitter that stay behind and continue to make your lips look huge I'm going to use a makeup wipe to take off some of that glitter so that we can judge each color fairly for what it is. I really, this packaging is so cute and it goes so well with his concealers. So if you haven't seen my video on his concealers, I'll link that below as well. All right, this is sequin glass. 
Uh, and so it's the last one that I have that has these cool blue tones to it. Let's give her a whirl. It's not hard to get the shine to read on camera. They are really shiny. But it is hard to get the color to show to you. This is definitely more colored, more pigmented than the others were. It's got a little bit of a bronze blue kind of a shine, a purpley color. It goes really nicely with my eye look today. Um, I think I really like this one a whole lot. I will get a lot of use out of it. I think you can wear it over nudes. I think you can wear it over purples and also by itself, which is really cool. But it is a little bit hard to share the color with you because what you mostly see is the color of my lips. But Suikun Glass is really just beautiful, folks. I really like this one. Time for something a little different. This one is called Safe Word, and it has green reflex and a gold tone to it. So hopefully this one will look different. Ooh, I feel like I'm being gilded. Maybe it looks a little bit different. So hard to see. In person though, it's definitely got a green toned shine to it and also yellow so that you could wear this with warm tone colors and it would look really nice. It just makes my lips look big and juicy. I really like it. And the last Jeffree Star gloss that I have to share with you guys today is Wet Peach. So this one I feel like is perfect for summer, for warm tones. It has pink and gold reflux to it and a little bit of peach color to the actual formula. It almost looks neon. <laughs> It's like an orange laser. And again, it's a little bit difficult to differentiate the colors when you're actually looking at them on the lip swatches. I'll be sure to stick in some arm swatches for you guys so that you can see the differentiation. But I think this color is really just stunning and uh, would make a great everyday color for me, um, I have a lot of yellow and peach undertones in my skin uh, that I think would work really nicely with this gloss. And I just absolutely love it. And here are all five colors of the Jeffree Star, the gloss together. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a like and a thumbs up. I put back on sequin glass. I absolutely love this one with my eye look today. And I just wanted to tell you guys thank you so much for watching. Like this video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I am really looking forward to Jeffrey's upcoming Jawbreaker release. And I hope to be among the first in line. So I will see you guys later. Have a great week. Bye-bye.